I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will try to understand relation between displacement time and velocity time graph. So let me draw a few scenarios and then we will discuss them one by one. So I will actually sketch uh, six different displacement versus time graphs and then we will discuss each one of them uh, one by one. When the displacement changes, velocity changes, and when velocity changes, acceleration changes, right? So let me draw six uh, different graphs and we'll understand uh, how uh, velocity and displacement are related. So let us say in the first case, we will we'll take in each uh, y-axis as displacement, x-axis as time, right? So, displacement versus time graph. Okay. Let us consider a graph which is a horizontal line on dt, displacement versus time. Let's say we have a graph like this. Now what does that mean? As you can see, as time goes, displacement remains constant. That means the vehicle is at state which we'll call as stop. So we can say it is stopped, right? So for a duration of time till the line is horizontal, right? So in this case, how should the velocity time graph look like. Let's say we try to sketch velocity time graph. Now, velocity time graph. So you'll notice that since there is no movement at all, displacement is same, constant, and vehicle is in stop position, velocity time graph will indicate zero velocity. Is it okay? So that is how it is going to look like. Now in the second case, let us consider a displacement which is kind of increasing. Let's say increasing like this. So it is increasing and the slope at each point is constant. That is what we know. So we know that slope is constant. Now slope means rate of change. Rate of change of displacement is velocity. Do you see that? And the slope is also positive. So two things. Slope is constant and it is positive. Is it okay? So that really means that we are talking about uniform positive velocity. Do you see that? We are talking about uniform positive velocity. So in that case, the graph should be, let's, let's push it down. Uniform positive velocity means that the graph will be horizontal line but a constant, right? So this is the velocity with time. Now let us consider when the displacement is decreasing with time, right? Let's say you start an object which is far away and it comes closer at a constant speed. So that is how it can be represented on d to t graph, right? So here what we note is that the slope is negative but constant. That means what? That means that we're talking about a uniform negative velocity, correct? Negative velocity. So let me sketch this one. When we say uniform negative velocity, that means it will be a horizontal line on velocity time graph, is it okay? But negative, kind of like this. Next graph, well, how should I sketch? Let me take this one, kind of a parabola, like this. Now in this graph, you will notice that if I draw a tangent line, at any point on the graph, if you see from left to right, what really happens here is that 
the slope of the line changes from negative to zero to positive. Do you see that? Slope changes from negative to zero to positive. So what I'm trying to say here is that if I draw it on velocity time graph, it will look kind of like this. So at this point, which is the turning point, the velocity is going to be zero. Before this, the velocity is negative, so the graph will be kind of like this. So velocity is negative on left side of this turning point. At turning point, it is zero, and after that, it is positive, right? So that is the negative part, zero and positive. Perfect. Now this indicates a uniform positive acceleration since the tangent is the slope of the tangent is increasing right so we say slope increases in earlier cases slope was constant in increases it goes from negative to zero to positive do you see that slope of this so it is negative zero and positive so this is the case of uniform acceleration and that to uniform constant acceleration, right? So, and it's positive. If I draw a slope on velocity curve, we get positive slope. So uniform positive acceleration. Acceleration is rate of change of velocity, right? So let me write down here. We're talking about uh, velocity which is, let me write down, velocity is rate of change of displacement or position. I should say position, okay. And acceleration, let me use another ink. is rate of change of velocity. Correct? So, so in the earlier cases, when velocity was zero or constant, acceleration was zero, right? So in all these cases, acceleration is zero. Is it okay? Now here, acceleration is positive. So acceleration is constant, but positive. Do you see that? If I have a parabola kind of a graph for displacement, which is opening downwards, like a projectile motion like this, when you throw a ball. So in that case, what you notice is that if I draw a, gra a tangent at any point, it is positive, negative, I mean zero, and then negative. So in this case, what happens really is that the slope, let me write down, slope changes from positive to zero to negative. Do you see that? It is zero at the turning point. So at the turning point, it is going to be zero. So here, the velocity time graph will show kind of like this, okay? Where this point corresponds to the turning point. Is it okay? So this is velocity, this is time. So velocity is changing. It is changing from positive to zero to negative. So it is very high velocity at this point, positive, zero there and increasingly negative high. Is it okay? But in all throughout, the acceleration is going to be uniform and negative, right? So in this case, we have uniform negative acceleration so so that is how we can actually relate distance time graph with velocity time graph and understand acceleration right i hope that part is very clear now as an exercise i'll sketch a graph with combination and i like you to tell me what does it indicate? So if I have a graph which is kind of like this and then this, that means distance time graph, it is 
not the velocity changes and then velocity becomes constant or zero at this point right so for this graph i would like you to sketch velocity time graph and describe what happens to acceleration okay so that's the question for you the hint here is that at this position tangent line has zero slope right and in this space it is negative and it is becoming more and more negative afterwards since the displacement is constant velocity is going to be zero do you see that so you have to sketch this graph for the given scenario so in this case the velocity really starts from zero right so initially it is zero and then at this till this point it is large negative increasingly negative so we can say kind of like this it is negative kind of like this but in this position the vehicle has come to a stop so the velocity is kind of like this do you see that so that is the velocity time graph for the given situation and knowing from here you can describe what the acceleration is acceleration matches this part with the previous case and the constant part with the first case correct so that is how i think uh, we can understand in one slide how distance time and velocity time graphs are related and what kind of terms we can use to describe them right for example when we say that the that the object is moving with a constant a uniform negative velocity in that case displacement will be kind of like this right and this is constant negative velocity where acceleration is zero so i like you to go through this video once again understand the relation between distance velocity and acceleration make a sketch and describe the distance time graph in different ways i'm anil kumar and i hope that helps feel free to share and subscribe to my videos if you like you should put lights thank you and all the best